What's going on guys? Pete out here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Serato sound interface or a Serato SL box as they're also known as uh, for use with Rekordbox DJ. Um, today we're going to be using the Rain SL4 but this will also work with uh, the SL2, 3, um, pretty much any um, audio interface with uh, multiple inputs and outputs. So uh, let's get started with the setup. So first I'm going to go ahead and um, plug in both uh, turntables into the inputs of the SL box. So let me go ahead and do that now. So left turntable, and then right turntable. Again, this will work with CDJs as well. Just make sure to hit the dip switches on the um, SL box to move from uh, phone notes and line. And now I'm going to go ahead and in, uh, plug in the outputs on the SL box. These will go straight into the mixer, into your channel 1 and 2, or whichever channels uh, you're using on your mixer. Now finally, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable from the audio interface into the computer. Now let's move on to the software setup. So as you can see, we already have Rekordbox DJ open in performance mode. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the preferences right here. And within the preferences, we're going to go to the audio tab. And in the audio tab, you can see right here uh, in the second box from the top, you can select your audio, um, your output. Go ahead and select the audio interface you have plugged in. So in this instance, we have the SL4. Give it a second and set up. Make sure mixer mode is on external. Then if you scroll down, you'll see the uh, input channels. So for the SL4, it has 10 inputs. So 10 meaning four stereo inputs and then one stereo aux input. So if you're looking at a RCA cable, the white side is one input and the red side is another. So that's why if you look here, I have input one and two for the left and right channels for channel one and input three and four for the left and right channels on channel 2. Now if you scroll down just make sure your outputs are selected as well and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get our table rolling. Actually let's go back into preferences click on the DVS tab and as you can see getting a nice signal from our control vinyl. Also to note, I'm not using a, any special record box vinyl. This is just normal Serato um, Scratch Live or Serato DJ control vinyl. It works perfectly with um, record box DJ, as you can see, getting a nice clean signal. And now let's load up a song and take a look at the control. Make sure I'm in relative mode. Control is pretty crisp, pretty tight, um, far over acceptable for me. I mean, control is pretty much like Serato and uh, what I've found. So this just allows you to use any Serato box, again, with uh, Rekordbox DVS. This is especially handy if you've upgraded to El Capitan and your Serato drivers have started acting a little wonky. This is somewhat of a workaround for it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please remember to like and comment and subscribe. Um, if you have any further questions or comments or any, anything else you'd like to reach out to me about, please leave those in the comments below. Again, this is PDOT. Thanks.